simple interest problem. Our learning intentions today that we are learning to calculate simple interest and our success criteria will be that you will be able to calculate the principal or time needed to earn a particular amount of interest given the simple interest rate. So let's just remember that our simple interest formula, a bit of a revision here, is I equals PRM. I equals interest, P equals principal, R equals rate, and N equals number of periods. So following on from yesterday's video, we are going to apply our knowledge of calculating simple interest to different problems. So an example, Remy invests $2,500 at 8% per annum simple interest for a period of time to produce $50 interest. For how long did she invest the money? So straight away we write down our simple interest formula. I equals PRN and we draw out of the question what each letter is. So this time, we know how much interest is produced. Interest is $50. It says that in the question. So I equals 50. We know what the principal is because it says that Remy invests $2,500. So P equals 2,500. We're told the rate is 8%. So R equals 8% or 0 0.08 as a decimal. And we're not told what period of time she invests it for. So we don't know what our N equals. So that's our unknown. So now putting in the numbers that we know into the formula, we have 50 equals 2,500 times 8% times N. So N is our unknown. That's what we want to get on, our, on its own. And here you need to actually use your knowledge of solving equations to work out what n equals. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply the 2,500 times the 8%. And we have 50, because we haven't done anything with the 50, equals 200 times n. So 2,500 times 8% equals 200. And now from here, because we have 200 times n, we want to get n on its own, so we're going to divide by 200. And we will have 50 divided by 200 equals n. And if you do that on your calculator, you will get n equals 0 0.25 years. Now, we're going to convert that to months because it's less than one year. And if there are 12 months in the year, if you do 12 times 0 0.25, you will get n equals 3 months. Let's have a look at another example. Bank East advertise $450 interest a year on an investment of $7,500. Calculate the simple interest rate for this investment. These type of questions, it's really important that you write down your formula and then you write down what you know. Okay, so our formula again is I equals PRN. Whenever we're dealing with simple interest, it's the same formula. And this time, what do we know? Well, we know what I equals because we're told that we will receive $450 interest. So I equals 450. We know that it will be on an investment of 7,500. So P for principal equals 7,500. We're not told what the interest rate is. So our rate of R equals a question mark. And we're told that it is in a period of one year. So it says Bank East advertised $450 interest a year. So N equals one. From here, we put what we know into the formula. And we get 450 equals 7,500 times R, because we don't know what the rate is yet, times one. From here, we will multiply the 7,500 by 1, and we'll have 450 equals 7,500 times R. Now, like the previous example, here we want to get R on its own. 
Now, because that is 7,500 times R, we're going to divide, because that's the inverse operation, we're going to divide both sides by 7,500 and we will have 450 divided by 7,500 equals R. If you do that on your calculator, you will get R equals 0 0.06. Now that's a decimal, so you want to turn that into a percentage. And to do that, you multiply it by 100 and you will get R equals 6%. Now you can always go back and check your answer by doing the calculation of 7,500 times 6% times one, and it will equal $450. And then you know your answer is correct. Um, here we will just have a look at one final example. So a finance company, offers a loan of $2,000 at 14% per annum, simple interest. If the loan is repaid in equal weekly instalments over two years, A, how much interest is charged on the loan, B, what is the total amount of the loan and the interest, and C, calculate the size of each payment. So we're told it's a simple interest, so again we're using the formula I equals PRN, we know that our P, principal, equals 2,000. Our rate equals 14% or 0.14 as a decimal. And our N, number of periods, equals two. So we put those numbers into our formula and we get I equals 2,000 times 14% times two. Put that into your calculator and you'll get I, or the interest, will equal 560. So that's part A. How much interest is charged on the loan? It's $560. Part B. What is the total amount of the loan and the interest? So total amount equals principal plus interest. Our total amount will equal our principal of $2,000 plus our interest of $560. So the total amount will be $2,560. Part C is calculate the size of each repayment. So in the question, it says that the loan is to be repaid in equal weekly instalments over two years. So we're going to have a payment or a repayment every week for two years. So two years will equal two times 52, which equals 104 weeks. So there'll be a repayment every week for 104 weeks. And from here, we can divide how much we're owed, how much, sorry, divide how much the total amount of the principal plus interest is. So 2,560 divided by 104, and that will equal $24.62 per week. So the size of each repayment will be $24.62 per week. Now I want you to have a look at the worksheet and work through the simple interest problem. If you have any questions, please email your teacher.